Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you've seen my face, my name is Alicia and today I'm here at the London School of Economics and Political Science and we're going to be asking LSE students GCSE questions to see if, well, they deserve to be here because apparently LSE is the best university in London. Don't argue with me, that's the stats, that's the stats guys. So let's see if they're really the, some of the smartest students in the country. And also, I got this video idea from Ipsmo who did a similar video at Cambridge University and I'm not going to lie, a lot of the Cambridge Cambridge students were getting all the GCSE questions wrong. So let's see if LSE students are smarter than Cambridge students. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Timothy. Timothy? Irish. Wait, is it <laughs> is it Timothy or is it Timothy? Timothy. Timothy. <laughs> okay. What course are you on? Uh, BSC course. Management third year. And what year? Or third year? Yeah, I just graduated. Oh, what are you doing what here, you bro? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is promo for yeah. I'm, uh, I'm UCL. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Hi, how are you? <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Gavs and I'm studying politics and third year. Hi, what's your name? Rachel. My name is Tak. And what year are you in? Uh, first year. What course? Actuarial Science. Oh, cool. And uh, what halls are you at? I'm living at home. Oh, okay, cool. You're a commuter. What's your name? Bianca. And what year are you in? Year one. Oh, cool. And uh, what course are you on? Uh, psychological and behavioral science. What halls are you at? Bankside. Yay, Bankside Supremacy! I'm so green to do this. What's your name? My name is Abina. And what's your name? Navia. And uh, what course are you on? I'm in HRO, MS in HRO. What does that mean? Human Resource and Organizations. Oh, cool. Uh, theory and History of International Relations. Cool, and what year are you in? Uh, I, I just recently got into the course. Oh, the first so year. First year, yeah. Student. Nice to meet you. I'm an MSc student, master's. I'm a C student. Ooh. So this should be easy for you, you're a master's student. No, I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Zakia. Zakia, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm from what PG. Are you in? I'm from PG. Oh, cool. Um, what yeah. year? Um, I'm doing my LLM actually, so. What's that? My, my master's in law. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. That's really cool, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, I stay in nearby at halls. I am, where? Yeah. Um, I live in Stratford. Hello, my name is Newton and Cuba, and today I'm here with Arian. Mm, and today I'm here what with... course are you on? Oh, they know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> what course are you on? Mm, French and Spanish. Nice, nice. I'm Pavani. I'm Diva. And what courses are you on? We're GC students. Oh, general course? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I've got a, a very basic GCSE math question for you. You should definitely get it right. You're on third year. You've graduated. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's light work. It's light work. <laughs> okay, so. If a right triangle has a hypotenuse of 10 units and one leg of 6 units, what is the length of the other leg? Use a Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> it's if a right triangle has a hypotenuse of 10 units. Oh, I, I learned in French. So, right. the bigger, like the one that connects. So, you have 90 degrees. So, it's the, the one, one on the uh, top. Yeah. So they're smart. Degrees. They're smart. Yeah. Um, 10 units. Yeah. And the other leg is 6 units. So, what is the length of the last leg? I think it's like uh, 100 minus 20. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? Okay. 10 units. Yeah, and, yeah. and 6. So it's 10 and 6. Yeah. Plus. The, the x square equals 10 square, right? So it's, wait, what's four square? Okay, 16 square, no, 16 plus. I'm just watching you, bro. <laughs> bro, help me. <laughs> should <laughs> should I give you three free options? Would that help? Uh, no, no, I can okay. find it. You can do it, okay. So 100 minus 16, that's that. Mm -hmm. It's 84. Yeah. So it's the root square of 84. Which is? Oh, uh, no, you can't get the root. Your, it's too phone. big of a number. Do you want to use your phone? You can use your phone for your calculator. I give you permission. It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> no. Is it a uh, hundred minus thirty-six uh, root over that? I'm not helping you. You just need to give me the answer. So you said the hypotenuse. Yeah, it's ten units. It's ten units. So. Yeah. And the other length is six units. Oh, six units? Yeah, six, oh, not three. So yeah. is it eight? Six. Eight is the answer, right? Uh, so Do you six. Agree? 
Wait, six square is thirty. Bro, what are you doing? I'm not using Wait, right. Sixty-four. Yes, it's eight. Well done, it's eight. Well done, guys. You, you guys, did it. You did it. What are you doing? No, like <laughs> you've got to respect it. You got it right. So well yeah. done. <laughs> Which of these phrases is correct? Um, bear with me, but it's spelled B-A-R-E. Or bear with me, where it's spelled B-E-A-R. Or bear with me, where it's B-A-I-R. I repeat the three variations again. So, hmm? yeah, well done. It actually yeah, is, and I didn't know that. I thought, yeah, I thought it was bear, as in B A R E, and it's B E A R. Is that what you said? Well done, you got it right. Well <laughs> so I've got a GCSE question for you. It's very easy actually. So I know you'll get this right. Who was the British Prime Minister during World War Two? You definitely know this. You definitely know this. I didn't do history though. I'm not gonna say so like jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'll repeat again. Who was the British Prime Minister during World War Two? Um Winston Churchill. Well done! Well done. <laughs> I knew you knew it. I was rooting for you, but I knew you knew it. Well done. Here you go. I have a GCSE maths question for you. It's quite easy. I know you will get it. You will get this. I believe in you. Okay? So solve for X. 3x minus 7 equals 20. Uh, minus 5. Uh, I'll, I'll try. I'll give you one more try. Why do you so free? Let me try one more time. minus 7x. No, no, no. Not oh, minus 7. So, okay. Sorry, so, no, 3x minus 7. 7. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Let's relearn it. Yeah! I get a minus 7x. I need to defend myself. I have to defend myself. I thought she said minus 7x. I'm sorry. Well done. You got it right. X is 9. You got it right. Don't worry. So I've got a maths question for you guys, GCSE maths. A straight line goes through points A, B and C, D, where A plus 3 equals C and B plus 6 equals D. What is the gradient of the line? <laughs> Should I repeat it again? I'll repeat it again. I'll repeat it again. Okay. You got this, you got this. Okay, let me say it again. <laughs> A straight line goes through points A, B, and C, D, okay. where A plus 3 equals C, and B plus 6 equals D. What is the gradient of the line? I'll give you multiple options, yeah? So, is it A, 2, B, 3, or C, 6? I guess it's A, 6. 6? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Just guess, just guess. Just guess. Just guess. Just guess. Yeah. I didn't listen to the question. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right, it's six. Well, uh, no, you. I'm joking, it's, it's no, two. Right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so today I've got a GCSE question for you. It should be easy for you because you're a master's student oh, as well. I feel like you're looking right. for something difficult. So this is a geography question. All right. In farming, what might a fungicide be used for? Oh, for killing, There's killing fungi? Mm. Wouldn't yeah, to be fair, yeah. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you three options. It's oh, exclusive, oh. but <laughs> so to remove pests that prey on mushrooms, mm. to remove weeds, or to remove mold. Oh yeah, mold. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. You've won a lollipop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it should be fine. Like you know, you're a student at LSC. I'm sure you can answer it. Yeah, so. Which of these world leaders did not attend the Yalta Conference in 1945? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, is it A. Clement Attlee, B. Joseph Stalin, or C. Franklin Roosevelt? I'll get the Stalin. That's right. No, I'm joking. It's not. It's not. It's Clement. <laughs> it's Clement Attlee. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So it's a maths question. All right. So. What did you say you did? did We're at a business. We're from a business college. Oh, oh so it should be it should be fine. Yeah, <laughs> business man. Okay, so Chris is organizing a wedding in a hotel. It costs four hundred pounds to hire the room, plus sixty nine pounds ninety five for each guest. You can spend a maximum of five thousand five hundred pounds. What is the maximum number of guests that he can invite? I mean, yeah, you can. Okay. I'll say it again. Yeah. I'll say it again. Yeah. All right. Chris is organizing a wedding in a hotel. It costs four hundred pounds to hire the room, plus sixty nine ninety five for each guest. Yeah, he can spend a maximum of five thousand five hundred. Yeah, what is the maximum number of guests that he can invite? Literally. 
72. Which one? Which answer are you looking in? 72. 72. Well done, you got it right. Well done. Yeah, well done. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, get a lollipop. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would be great to see you around on this channel some more. See you later. Bye. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometime I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the 